this offseason, there have been so many people who've said, I think this is the year that Nathan McKinnon wins the Hart Trophy. He was so special last year in the postseason. Figured in on the score sheet in every single game except for game seven of the second round. Yoel Kiviranta had a hattie. This expression we'll never forget. This Avs team had aspirations of going all the way. The last time they won it all, uh, oh, one. <laughs> Reader was there, right? He was. Of course. We so, have some of his chairs here, too. Right yes, now. which is good. Yeah, of course. Will they win the West? Last time they did, 13 14, their coach was the goalie from that 01 team, Patrick Waugh. I, I have them winning. I have them winning the West because this, this team, all I can look at is what their build is. And on paper, which is a very dangerous thing to say, but they have depth. Well, where are their weaknesses at? I mean, you could argue if we want to be, you know, splitting Adams here. Yeah, they, you know, I mean, they, they're goaltending. But yeah, I mean, they don't have the top goaltending in the league. But let's not forget, these two guys have played very well last year and in recent years uh, with Philip Grubauer and, and, and Francis. Like, they, they have the right blend everywhere else in their lineup where I think maybe you can get away with just good goaltending. You don't need great. But I think these guys are capable of being better. So it shows their belief because I thought they were going to go out and get a big-name guy. But if they went out and got that big-name guy, maybe they weren't able to do some of the other things they did with Devon Taves and, and some of these other things. They're taking care of their future now, too, and that future is now. Absolutely. I mean, and, and keep in mind, too, these guys are coming off of big seasons, both Grubauer and Francois. Unfortunate timing for the injury for Grubauer, but Francois played very well. Then the postseason, I thought the game came down a little bit, but they're very capable. Both of them are capable of playing. They both play well. They give them consistent goaltending for the most part, and it's a one-two punch. Somebody that we don't talk enough about in that group, though, is Ryan Graves. Mm. Yeah. I'm a huge Ryan Graves fan. I'm a huge Ryan plus Graves minus. fan. Plus minus Hello. leader in the NHL last year. Steady Eddie, and you guys pointed out, you add Devon Taze to that group, look out. I think that they've got a real special group out there, and Bowen Byram, is oh, on the was he good? If you didn't watch the, the World, World Junior Juniors. Championships Holy with Team Canada, smokes. and uh, I, I really think that that's a team. It, I don't think there's one team that's transformed itself, fellas, as quickly in the last two years as yeah. the Avalanche that I have agree. become more complete. Joe Sakic, yeah. just getting after it. Totally. You talked about Taves. What about Saad? Mm -hmm. This is, to Weeksy's point, a team that has been so aggressive in remaking itself. It's not that far back that they had 48 points and they were dead last mm -hmm. in the league. Rupper, how have they turned it around so quickly? Well, they, it, you can only turn it around quickly when you have a great core, and that yeah. core is what we had at the top of the conversation, Nathan McKinnon. I mean, you're talking about arguably the best player in all of hockey. And the biggest thing for me with this squad is keeping everybody healthy. It, that, that's big for everybody, right? But when you look at the D core, they're built really nice. They've got a nice blend here. They've got guys, puck moving guys, offensive guys that connect the dots between the forwards and the defensemen. I mean, they've got so many things here. But I almost look at, we've looked at Brandon Saad and some of these new acquisitions and Devon Taves. Mm -hmm. Let's look at their old, I, I like looking at their older guys that they, they got in the past. Oh, yeah. Let's not forget, Andre Burkowski is getting a crack on that top line. Sure. If that can pan out, he could be an X-Factor. I thought he was an X-Factor in Washington, just lacked consistency in his game. If Burkowski can be a top line guy, look how nice that second line looks. Nas Kaji is one of the biggest gamers in all the land. Totally. He could do everything on both sides of the puck. Then you get some role playing there by JT Comfer and company on the third. I mean, there's no weakness on this roster. If, I, if I'm Coach Bednar, by the way, uh, him and Nolan Pratt and the goalie coach, they've done an outstanding job there in Denver. No Amazing doubt. job with that group. But if I'm Coach Bednar, if these guys are going the way they can and should be, next. Yeah, let's roll them. Roll next. Because oh, yeah. nobody's going to be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you. No exactly. Be, the only team that can, you're not going to play until, you, and potentially if you get you know, to the Stanley Cup Finals. I think the Tampa Bay Lightning are the only team, yeah. and we know because of the, you know, the landscape of the league this year, you're only going to be playing your division. Exactly. And there's no team in that division that can go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Roll them, boys. Might mm. be the easiest job for Jared Bednar ever, right? Totally. Roll the lines. <laughs> Keep them going. Oh, we got a power play. Nate, stay out there for two minutes. We're good to go. Uh, exactly. That's true. I love that squad. And I mean, listen, the, the key, too, that I like about them is their big boys play hard. Yeah, they do. They don't shrink. Mm -hmm. Okay? This is something we got to get in here for a lot of you young girls and boys that play. The bigger the games the bigger you have to play, and you got to play a hard edge game. And I love that about their top players. They don't vanish. They don't get soft. They don't get perimeter-based. They go to the middle of the ice in all three zones. 
when the big lights and the bright lights get turned on. I respect that. Even when Kale McCarr was a rookie, 10 yeah. playoff games, six points, mm -hmm. he didn't shrink even then.